Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, this is Baron Allen. He is fighting the mini, um, Comcast and maybe even some other cable companies because he is accusing them of not carrying black channels and that they are being biased against black owned media. He's also went after companies who will not finance black owned media out of bias. So here's what he was talking about when he was being interviewed by Tone Talk. Listen. A lot of major corporations, Coca-Cola, they don't spend a nickel with black owned media for the most part. There are a lot of major corporations out there that pull money out of our neighborhoods, out of our communities, but they're not. See, what happens is, here is that institutionalized racism. When white people talk to other white people about business, they talk about business. When black people go to white corporate America, white corporate America starts talking about charity, donations, and who they've given money to. We're not a charity. We're not a donation. We're not that burden that you need to subsidize because we are a bunch of stupid baboons who can't add two plus two. We're a business. We're brilliant. We're resourceful. We're, we're articulate. We're competitive. But white corporate America has a way of treating us like we're a burden and we don't count. And when you look at all the hundreds of billions of dollars that are spent in advertising and none of it going to black all media, that speaks to why your newspapers and websites are going out of business and going away and they don't exist. When you look at $70 billion being spent licensing cable networks and none of it going to black own ownership, that speaks to jobs in the community. Now, for me, as an African-American entrepreneur, to be uh, and to sue the first African-American president of the United States for racial discrimination in contracting, there is a severe problem. Now let's talk about the law that I use. It is Civil Rights Act 1866, Section 1981. It was put on the books to protect the newly freed slaves 150 years ago to make sure that we had economic inclusion. Because they knew 150 years ago we weren't going to get that economic inclusion. And here we are today, we still haven't achieved it. So I had to sue President Obama's FCC to get... You see what he, he said? He's saying a lot of these corporations are trying to undermine black-owned business and black-owned media. You see, they do not want us to own our own media. Some of these same corporations is like, we donate to BET or we sponsor BET, we donate to Al Sharpton, we donate to the NWACP. Half of those are not even black owned. Those are catered to black people. The NWACP wasn't even created by black people. But you see, they, well, what I'm about to also show you is whenever they get called out, the racists get called out, they'll try to use token people, um, to cover their racism and stuff like that. Uh, which I'm about to show you in the next video. But first, I want to go back. This is an interview that Brian, that Byron Allen did with Tone Talk. Talk about how these corporations try to undermine black owned media. And this is also why he's suing corporations like Comcast for not, for, um, having bias against, um, um, black 100% black owned media and then of course you know the same corporation will say we have BET no you're catered to be the black people you're not owned by black people now about that tokenism this is going to be what's talked about in the next video that I'm about to show you so here it is simple. Uh, the cable industry AT&T, DirecTV, Comcast, Time Warner 
they, they spend about 50 billion a year licensing cable networks and advertising with less than one less than three million dollars per year going to 100 percent african-american owned media now what, now what they, they do is they make token donations to people like al sharpton the NAACP, the Urban League, and after taking those donations, they negotiated a fraudulent MOU that says this is okay for black people to live by. What America needs to understand is that Al Sharpton does not speak for me. Al Sharpton does not speak for black people. It's like I ask people, who is the white person who speaks for you? It's racist to even believe that Al Sharpton is the go-to person. Shame on you, Sony, for thinking, sit down with Al Sharpton, and that negates your racist emails about President Obama. So, so it's real simple. simple. These, these uh, token donations they make to him, as reported in the New York Post, allows them to have racial cover. This is why we're not getting enough advertising or any advertising from McDonald's and Coca-Cola and Chrysler and General Motors and AT&T. They don't spend any money with African-American owned media. Something that's very alarming, AT&T spent more money on Al Sharpton's lavish 60th birthday Birthday than, than they spent on, on Ebony Magazine, magazine the, the biggest African American, African -American magazine in America, around, around 70 years, 10 million readers per month. month AT&T AT spent only $30,000 on that magazine. Walmart, Walmart has, given has given money to Al Sharpton. Walmart, Walmart doesn't, doesn't spend any money in Ebony, Ebony magazine, magazine, and they barely do business with me in a long-term long partnership. partnership. And the only reason why... They do that because they know they can control his narrative. They can control Al Sharpton's narrative. Now, this is whether you like Ebony or don't like Ebony, whether you like Baron Allen or don't like Bar Baron, um, Bar Byron Allen, I meant. You see, they will donate to you if you shuck and jive and do stuff and control the narrative on the behalf of white corporate America CNN and MSNBC, even though I know he's talking to CNN, uh, Comcast and AT&T, which by the way, AT&T ironically owns the network he's actually inter being interviewed in. Um, but yeah, I also noticed that there's not a lot of activists like the NWACP or Al Sharpton defending Bar Bar um, Byron Allen. That's why he's Calling out Comcast for trying to trying to use Al Sharpton to cover discrimination. See, Comcast uses people like Al Sharpton, just like CNN is trying to use that panel, which is Angela Rye or Angela Lai, uh, Bakari Sellers or Bakari Sellout, April Ryan, and the guy who lost his governor race, Andrew Gillum. That's what they try to also use them is because they're trying to destroy. The new black media or black media, which 100% fully owned by black media in general, and create uh, a force catered to black people, but at the detriment of our community, not to help our community. Yeah, I don't see none of those these black journalists coming out to defend Barry Allen and stuff like that. Uh, I don't see Al Sharpton defending Bar Byron Allen. Um, um, but here's what I see Al Sharpton doing. He's doing this. This is what he's doing. He's, he's shucking and driving. That's what he's doing. Let's. <laughs> this is what Al Sharpton doing. Shucking and driving. Along with a along with a bunch of other shucking and drivers. That's what Al Sharpton is doing. Yeah. Um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say is, I hope Baron, uh, and I also heard that Baron Allen is suing Comcast for $20 billion and for racial bias when it comes to carrying his channels that he owns. Oh, by the way, he was the one that got those remaining Fox Studios. That's what I found out from Town Biz, that he managed to get those studios, even though we were rooting for Ice Cube to get them. 
Uh, Baron Allen was the one that got him. What he does with them, that's up to Baron Allen. So even you may not like some of the stuff, Baron, Baron Allen, but the fact that he is being discriminated against, that's what I have a problem with. Racial discrimination against any black entrepreneur I have an issue with. And because you would like him if he was shucking and jiving, but when he's not shucking and jiving, you will try to throw him under the bus. But I want to know in the comment section what you think about this and what you think about this uh, fight that Bar Byron Allen is going through and stuff like that. Um, we'll just have to see what happens. But um, that's all I have to say for now. Like I said, leave your comments in the comment section. Um, this is J Dog. Also remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell as well. Depending on where you're at. But this is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch you all in another video. Peace everyone.